everyone. Welcome back to another botany lesson where we talk about roots this time. So we're going to be discussing the parts of a root first, and then we're going to go through types of roots. So the first one we're talking about is the primary root. The primary root is the largest part of the root. It's usually located below the main stem. It is the main path from the smaller roots to the stem and sometimes stores food for the plant. And so I have that highlighted in the dark brown color. Then we have our secondary roots. Our secondary roots are roots that branch off from the primary root. They grow down at an angle. They help bring more water and minerals to the plant. The root caps are groups of tiny cells that grow at the tips of roots. They are rounded in shape at the ends. They help to protect the root tip from the roughness of the soil as roots grow in search of water. And finally, we have root hairs. The root hairs are thin, hair-like outgrowths of a root. The root hairs absorb water and minerals from the soil. For most plants, the longest root hairs are on the primary root. That is all for the parts of a root. So now we're going to be covering types of roots. The first one is aerial roots. Aerial roots are roots entirely above the ground, as an ivy or the strangler fig, which is what's pictured, that's wrapped around a cypress tree. They enable plants to attach to rocks and walls and other plants. Then we have buttress roots. Buttress roots are very large roots on all sides of a tree. They're commonly found in the rainforest and they help hold up the tree. They also help the tree gather nutrients where the soil is poor. A tap root or a tap root is a straight tapering root system that grows downward from the plant. It forms from the center of the root from which smaller roots sprout. A carrot is an edible tap root. Thin, moderately branching roots growing from the stem are called fibrous roots, as pictured in front of you. Monocots, ferns, and some dicots all have fibrous root systems. It is the opposite of the taproot system. Diffuse roots do not have one primary root that is dominant. The roots are made of fibers and spread in all directions. They are primarily found in monocots, like grasses. Aerating roots rise above the ground, usually over water. They allow the plant to absorb air, and plants with aerating roots include the bald cypress and mangrove. Hostorial roots are parasitic plants, which means they feed off of a host plant. They absorb water and nutrients from the other plants, and the roots often wrap around the host plant, as with the mistletoe does in this picture in front of you. Propagative roots produce above ground growths called suckers, which can become new plants. Suckers are often found in and around tree roots. Adventitious roots are roots that grow after the plant structure is in place instead of before. They spring from the stem, branches, leaves, or old woody roots. One example is the supportive stilt root, which is the picture in front of you as well. And lastly, we have our tuberous roots. A tuberous root, or a root tuber, is a large root that stores nutrients for the plant. They're often eaten by both animals and people. Some examples include sweet potatoes and cassava. All right, and now we are at the point where it is time to go record your work. So some things that you can do in order to record this work could be making a diagram of a root and labeling all the parts of a root. You can also draw your top five or six favorite roots that you saw today um, and maybe label some things within those pictures that you um, see, maybe some root hairs or the primary root. And as always, you are more than welcome to create your own um, recording. If you have any creative ideas, go for it. I'm excited to see what you do. Talk to you guys later.